Hey everybody, this is Troy from eBuzz Central. Today we're going to take a look at PC Linux OS, the Mate version. But before we get started, please don't forget to like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you like what the channel's doing and you enjoy the videos, you can buy us a cup of coffee, or better yet, become a patron to the channel over on Patreon. Those links will be in the description below. PC Linux OS. First thing we're going to do is we're going to zip on over to their website, which is PCLinuxOS.com. And you've got some news right here on home. They give you the news, kernel updates, Firefox browser. They got about PC Linux OS, help us out, get PC Linux OS. If you click on that, it takes you over here. You can download it in the KDE desktop, the Mate desktop, or the XFCE desktop. And then, of course, you can also make a donation to them over here. They got GoFundMe, or you can go with one of these specified donations. If we go back to the home, they have PC Linux magazine. You can go back different months. If you got a specific thing you're looking for, you can go over here and find it. And then you can scroll down and you can go to previous entries of the news that they put right here. So that is their website. It's pretty straight to the point, pretty forward. Not a lot of glitz and glam, just information, which is mostly what us guys that use Linux like. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of the browser. Now, if you download PC Linux OS, throw it on a USB or put it in a virtual machine and open it up, this is the screen you're met with. There's no welcome screen. Pretty much a plain wallpaper. Let's go ahead and right click and see if we can change that wallpaper. And there's some assorted backgrounds. Of course, you've got some mate themed backgrounds. Then you just have some regular looking alternating color backgrounds. Not a lot of them to choose from. But I think I'm going to stick with that one right there. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. Right click, you can create folder, create launcher, create document, open in terminal, organize desktop, keep a line, and then Change desktop background we just looked at. You also have the option here to change your theme if you would like. Right now we're on a custom theme. I kind of like that, so I'm going to leave it where it is. But you can tell by scrolling down through here, you've got quite a few to look at. Plus, you can also go download themes and install them right here. And then if you go over to fonts, right now it tells you the standard font that they're using and then the size of the font. If you want to and you want to go change them, just click on that. You can go through here, change the font to the one you want. And then, of course, you can change the size down here. And once you're done, hit select. And as you can see, everything got just a hair bigger. And then interface. Menus and toolbars show icons in the menus. Buttons show icons on the buttons. And then, of course, the preview down here. If you change those up, it'll give you a preview. So let's go ahead and close out of that. And with the Mate desktop, you know that you get one panel. If you come down here, you've got date and time. you got your laptop battery. you got internet connection, sound, and, of course, clipboard. And then if you right-click on the panel, you've got about panels, help, new panel, reset all panels, properties. You can click on properties. And right here, it'll give you general orientations on the bottom, size. You can make that panel bigger if you would like. As you can tell, it gets a little bigger. Or you can make it smaller if you think it's just a hair too big. So you can adjust that right there. And then background, if you want the background of the panel to be different, you can adjust that up here as well. So let's go ahead and close out of that. Come over to the left side. You've got applications, places, and system. And then, of course, you've got your file manager. Let's go ahead and open that up. That's Kaja File Manager. And if you look at it, it's got the usual suspects over here, and then you've got your home folders right here. You can adjust the size of these folders if you would like. You just click on that, and it takes them up as big as or as little as you want them to go. Then you have File, Edit, View, Bookmarks, Help. Then over here, you can change the view. You've got Icon View, List View. You can change it to List View if you want, and then Compact View, which gives you no details. I'm going to go ahead and switch that back to Icon View. And I do have to say they're using a little bit older theme, but I always did like this theme kind of giving you the... The shiny metal look, I don't know why I'm a sucker for that. I've always liked it. It's not everybody's cup of tea, but I do like it. That's Kaja File Manager. Light, fast, stays out of your way so you can get work done. So let's go ahead and close out of that. Next thing you have is your terminal. Let's go ahead and open up the Mate Terminal. And the first thing I want to do is check out if they have HTOP installed, which they do. And as you can see right now, let's go ahead and maximize this. We are using 527 megabytes of the 2.9 gigabytes that I have issued in this machine which at rest with just the terminal open is pretty lightweight. I think anything under 600 megs at rest is really lightweight. Anything over that is kind of a midweight. And then if you start getting above 1.1, 1.2 gigs, that's a little bit heavy to me. But that's my personal opinion. You may think different. If you do, let me know in the comments below. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of the terminal. Then we'll go over here and open up configure. And this is your configure control center. First thing listed is your software manager. Let's go ahead and open that up. And as you can tell, it's Synaptic Package Manager. Still one of my favorite ways to install apps and software onto a system. 
you've got all installed, installed local, installed upgradable, new in repository, and then not installed. And then down here you've got sections. That cuts it down from audio to video, publishing, whatever you might be looking for. Status, custom filters, search results. So if we go back to status, leave it on all. Now you could come over here and you could do a search for something like Caden Live. And as you can see, Caden Live is highlighted over here as your search. And if you come over here, there it is right there. All you would have to do is click on it, mark for installation. And when you do mark it, it'll tell you what dependencies is required to install it. So you would mark all of those as well. Once you have that selected, just come up here and click apply and it installs it on your system. You could also do it for any other software that you might be looking for. Let's say you're wanting to download OBS. And there's OBS Studio right there. You'd click on it, mark it for installation, and then, of course, it would let you know the dependencies. Mark those as well. And now you have both of them selected. If you wanted to install Caden Live and OBS, you just come up here, click Apply, and it would install them both on your system. Synaptic Package Manager can't be beat. It's the first thing I used back in 2008 when I first moved to Linux, and I'm still in favor of it today. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. Come back over to the configure. You got share. You can configure your FTP or configure a web server. And then network services. You can configure your proxy, open SSH, configure DNS, configure time. And then hardware, browse and configure your hardware, sound configuration, set up your mouse, set up keyboard, set up a printer, set up scanner. And then system. Over here, you can manage, add, and remove fonts, manage system services, manage date and time, view and search system logs, import Windows documents, network sharing, NFS, SMB over here. Then you've got your local disks, manage disk partitions, share your hard disk partitions, security, you can set up your personal firewall, configure authentication tools, and then of course boot, you've got set up auto login, set up display manager, set up boot system. So this control center here in PC Linux OS comes in quite handy. So let's go ahead and close out of that. And then that Synaptic Package Manager we just looked at. And then of course we have Firefox Web Browser. Now when we come over here, we're gonna open the application launcher. You've got more applications. You've got CPUX, Mate System Monitor, Mate Terminal, and you have Plank. Now if you wanted to use Plank, which is a dock, all you would have to do is come over here, right click on your panel, show properties. Let's say you wanted to move your panel up top. Let's go ahead and move that panel up to the top. So your panel is now up top. Let's go ahead and close out of that and then come back down to applications, more applications, click on plank, and there you go. You now have a dock on your system if that's something you want to do. And it's quite simple. You can add applications if you wanted to. Let's go ahead and open terminal. And as you can see, terminal comes up on the dock right here. Just right click on it, say keep in dock, and then close. And it'll stay right there. So now you've got a shortcut right there. You can launch it from right there if you want to. Then back up to applications, archiving, you've got free file sync, GR sync, real time sync, and then you have time shift, a quick, easy way to back up your system. So should you ever have any kind of failure or a catastrophic failure, you can boot into a safety USB, go to your time shift and restore it to a time and place where your operating system was functioning without any issues. Then we've got configuration. You configure your computer, install PC Linux OS, mate menu editor, mate tweak, NTFS configuration tool, documentation, editors, pluma, file tools, you got bleachbit, bleachbit root, make disk usage analyzer, graphics, you got IM8 image viewer, GIMP, random background, internet, you got AnyDesk, FileZilla, Firefox browser, and you have Megasync cloud storage. If you open that up, you can go over, set you up an account online. I still believe they give out 15 gigabytes. I could be wrong. I signed up about two years ago and got 50 gigabytes, and I still have 50 gigabytes to this day. It's free, it's encrypted end-to-end, -end, and you can't really beat it. So let's go ahead and close out of that. Go back down to applications. You got Thunderbird for your mail. You got Zoom Office. You got LibreOffice Suite out of the box. Software Center, Synaptic Package Manager, which we just looked at. Sound, Pythos, Pulse Audio Volume Control, Spotify, VLC. And then video, you've got handbrake, shotcuts installed out of the box. That is pretty impressive. Shotcut is based on Caden Live, but it has a totally different user interface, and it's pretty easy to use. So I'm impressed that comes installed out of the box. And back over to video, and that's pretty much it. And as you can tell, the Mega Sync stays up over here. Let's go ahead and exit out of that. That's just a real quick look at PC Linux OS, the Mate version. It's lightweight if you want to put it on older hardware or if you want to put it on newer hardware with lower specs. The system will definitely let you get things done. 
Is it something you might download, put on USB, throw in a virtual box, and give a test drive to? Let me know in the comments below. Do me a favor before you leave today. Please like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you like the channel and you like the videos that we are doing, you can buy us a cup of coffee. Or better yet, become a patron to the channel over on Patreon. Those links will be in the description below. Thank you for watching the video, and I will see you in the next video.